Can the modern woman keep up with a modern man? Actually, it should be the other way around. Can a modern man keep up with the trends of a modern woman? To help me in this conversation, I have Diana Gadoni, um, who is sitting there. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. I also have Pastor Samuel Rafian. Yeah. Thank you for joining us also tonight. And I have Angela Wakeni. Yes. Thank you all for joining us. And I want us to kickstart this conversation. Obviously, it has a lot of um, uh, what we'd call unfairness, if you were to look at it that way. But I want to hear from you, uh, because I will do the, the ladies and then can come to Ruffian. What is your perception about the boy child? And we talk, when you talk about the boy child, we're not just speaking about the child. We're also talking about a modern man. What is your perception about the boy child? Uh, for me, my conception there is that we have, yes, men, but uh, they're just men on the outward. All alone? Yes. Okay. Yes, because we, we have boys in men. Mm. Yes. So developmentally, we ha <laughs> they have not as much as matured as they have matured physically. Mm. And for me, I think basically the problem is not with them, but how they grew up. Mm. Because uh, most of them, what we have in the society right now, the attributes and values of how a man should be were not put in them when yeah. they were growing up. So really, we have them. On the outer, they are good men, but inwardly, they are really boys in men. Yeah, so that's, that's how I look at it. That's at least most of them. Uh, yeah. Rafael, very quickly, I know yeah. I'll pass over <laughs> to Angela. Did you just hear that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I what did. do you think? Uh, I think there's a, a lot of truth in what Diana is saying. Uh, because uh, the modern man, mm -hmm or the young men that we have today, we have an expected destination, a place where we are expected to get to. Uh, everyone has uh, expectations on us, but we are growing up without a compass. Yeah. So we don't even know how to get there. And uh, number two, we, there's no proper communication on what is expected of us. And so we have to figure out how to go there, how somehow. to end there. Yeah. Some, somehow, mm -hmm. I mean, we have to figure out how to get there. Yeah. And uh, so we are learning on the job. And that is why we are making a lot of mistakes, a lot of blunders. And uh, in the same breath, the, the people placing expectations on us are not patient enough, are not understanding enough, and are not willing to talk to us, they are always talking at us. Yeah. So, I mean, the whole thing gets mucky because now there's a, a young man or there's a gentleman here, mm -hmm. there are expectations on him, yeah. uh, but he has no idea how to get there. Mm -hmm. So he has to figure out his way there. And then the society, and uh, the people that have placed these expectations are not patient enough mm -hmm. even to guide us on how to get there. Yeah. And so this is exactly where the, the, the whole thing is getting, I mean, it's getting bad. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting, you know, um, because again, looking at the entire thing and the perception that the, the man has to deal with loaded on him. Mm -hmm. First of all, I would want to hear from you. Um, what is your perception about the boy child? everything starts in false leadership. Personally, I think, I agree with Diana. Mm. We have boys, we don't have men. Mm. Yes. What do I mean by that? Uh, boys, as in, we as ladies, we expect to be leaded, like for someone who can mm -hmm. lead you. Mm -hmm. But these people, they can't. Why? Um, uh, huh, how do I put it? Mm. According to the Bible, yeah. God created a man to lead, mm -hmm. and we as ladies to follow or, or to support him. Yeah. But these men, they can't, maybe, example, mm -hmm. you find someone, maybe he wants to take you for a date, yeah. then he, I, I expect him to maybe tell me, I want you to take you for a date yeah. here, but Sasa want me to achieve this, like, I want you, where, do you, where, do you, where do you want me to take you, you know? Yeah. They can't make the decision, like, they're kind of weak. But surely... If I decide you will go there to say this place is no, just man up. Man up. Man up. Yeah, man up. That's what you say. That's what I say. Man up. Call me. Tell me. I want to take you somewhere. This place. Don't ask me. Uh, Angie, I want to take you somewhere. Where do you? So let's see. I want to take you somewhere, Angie. Uhuru Park. 
Uh, one. Look, you're already thinking, right? <laughs> because it's not your ideal place. It's not my ideal place. Uh -huh. Look at me. Take a good look at me. Oh Do, I look like <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like Uhuru Park? Do I look like Uhuru Park? You know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Tell me something, um, Diana. Yeah. Isn't there a lot of unfairness being visited on the boy child? Because let's face it, mm -hmm. the standards of a woman have changed. Obviously, yeah. owing to you know the cultivation and advocacy towards the rights of a girl child, mm -hmm. and at some point being put at a pedestal. Yeah. But at some point, the boy child appears to have been forgotten at one point. Mm -hmm. Don't you think women are being unfair in loading this on the boy child? No, we are not. You're not. No, we are not. Because look back, but at the time mm -hmm. that uh, we started uh, women empowerment, girl child empowerment, that was way about five years ago, yeah. it was necessary. Why? Because the man child was up here and the girls were down here. Mm -hmm. Why is it that back then we never spoke that the man is up here and the girls are down here? Why is it that now it's offending the man child when the girl... When the girl Tell child me, where should the man be? He should know his place. Which is? Which is, Angie said. The head. Biblically, you're supposed to, to lead. lead yeah. You're actually even just supposed to lead. But you see, now the problem is the man child doesn't know where he belongs. He's being sworn everywhere, like the wind. You know, he's like this, like this. So the problem is, I go back to how they actually grew up. If they were tended to at that young age, we would not have the issue of right now of the man feeling intimidated by the woman because the woman is empowered. Yes, mm -hmm. it's true to some, to some extent. We have not played justice in the, in the sense that I will go back to something that I had uh, from Bishop T.D. Mm -hmm. He said that the girl child, yes, is empowered. Let's basically put it in a setup of a home. We are, I teach my, I have a daughter. I teach how to take care of my house, of how and how. This is how you do it. But we've not taught the man. In that, in that phase, I would say that we have failed as women, as mothers, because uh, we have now the girl child now, who is the empowered woman, who is the boardroom member now. I expect when I get married, my husband should treat me like this, just as Pastor Raffian said. But now, if I want him to come home and cook for me, do stuff in the house, he was not empowered to do that. But now, as much as we have empowered the young girl, if you go back to look at where we have actually fallen with the boy child, it would, we would probably uh, do justice to them. But I don't think there is that part that we are up there and now they are down here. Mm. I think we are at, at par. We are actually at least getting at par. We are not even there yet. Yeah? We are not even there yet. You think so? No. <laughs> well, I think this is one of the hardest interviews I've ever done where you, you're being forced to facilitate a conversation rather than argue. But anyway, <laughs> uh, 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 Pastor Raffin, I mean, I mean Look at it this way. The standards of a modern woman. Mm. Look at her saying, look at me, I can't go to Uhuru Park. Mm -hmm. But just imagine a person, and we'll talk about economic empowerment a little bit later. But for, uh, for a person who's not economically empowered to go to Java mm -hmm. or KFC, what do they do? Do they stop dating such a woman? <laughs> or do you run, get your type that you're <coughs> still in the same boat economically? Uh, I think uh, the discussion is not... Uh, necessarily about uh, a man feeling intimidated. Mm. Uh, the thing is, is that uh, we will all agree there is a problem. Mm. There is a problem. And uh, what is the problem? Uh, the girl has been empowered, which is amazing, which is important, which is powerful. Mm -hmm. And uh, this conversation is not even to get uh, to say stop now empowering the girl and begin to empower the boy is just simply saying maintain the the empowerment of the girl yeah. mm -hmm. but now please make sure that you don't do it in the expense of the boy don't do it in the expense of the man make sure that even the boy is at par Carry along the boy mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. because at the end of the day the mm -hmm. truth of the matter is this uh, at the end of the day, even if the girls are completely empowered, uh, like Angie, even if you are 100% empowered, you won't marry yourself. True. At the end of the day, you will need a man. Mm -hmm. And uh, this conversation... Yeah, some of them in this town who say they don't need one. Yeah, I, I, because now, uh, I mean, it, it's just a, a misconception. Yeah. The thing is, uh, when Diana, we empower the girl, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and uh, we are not carrying the boy along. At the end of the day, this girl will end up in a house with a man that is not empowered, mm -hmm. that is weak. Mm -hmm. And uh, this man now, when you are an empowered woman in a house with a, a man that is weak, let me tell you, it is going to be chaos. 
Mm -hmm. You will not know peace. Yeah. You will fight every single day of your life. Mm -hmm. And so when we talk about uh, bringing up the boy child and uh, giving some focus to the boy as much as we are giving to the girl, we are simply uh, looking at uh, empowering an entire family. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you will spend the day in the office. Mm -hmm. You will spend the day in the boardroom. You will make your money. But you will come home to a man that is weak, that is uh, unaffirmed, to a man that is not playing his role. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, you end up in the house with a, with a ceremonial man. Mm -hmm. And I am telling you, no matter how much you are empowered, you will have to struggle the same way, the, with the same struggle you struggled before you were empowered. So e discussion here, the girl has been empowered and we have forgotten the, the, the man. Mm. Ni kama tumeingia kwa sink, tukaosha vyombo. Lakini tunazirudisha kwa majiko na sabuni. Mm -hmm. Because now, tuli change maji ya kuosha vyombo. Mm -hmm. Lakini ya tuku change maji ya kukamu. At the end of the day, you will end up with a, <laughs> with a man in the house. Yeah. Who will be chaos to you? <laughs> and so, the, my, 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 my two cents wisdom or uh, thoughts mm -hmm is that even as we bring up the girl child, we also need to remember the boy. Yeah. We also need to go back to the boy and uh, begin to share the, you know, the compass, mm. to get them to the place of expectation, where they are expected to be, to teach them their role. Because the truth, nothing is automatic. Yeah. Nothing goes up and, until someone pushes it up. And so everyone is pushing the girl, no one is pushing the boy. And so we are growing big, but we are not growing up. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, you will end up with a, with a grown man in the house who still oh, fighting boy. the boy battles. Oh, yeah. Or who still needs mm -hmm. diapers, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Tell me something. Um, at the point where, or do you think it's a problem that the woman, and I'm not saying it's bad to raise the bar mm -hmm. up there, but knowing the kind of boy child you're dealing with, don't you think that ladies are also failing in managing their expectations? No. 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 Okay. no way. Uh, I know how I'm supposed to be treated. So if you give me something less than that, I won't take that. Is it the problem? <laughs> no. <laughs> Personally, I think they should just man up and grow up. You attract who you are. Yeah. So you, if you are a boy, you just attract maybe a girl. Mm -hmm. But if you are a gentleman, you attract a lady. Yeah. So they should just man up if you, uh, maybe there are boys, man up, work with men, and then now come and date maybe ladies, or now by then what I come to to this standard, yeah, they can date someone maybe mature, if I may say that. Yeah. yeah. Tell me something. If you to draw parallels between marriages, is that is and I'm talking about our parents, mm -hmm. that generation, mm -hmm. vis a vis ours. Is it the problem of modernity or is it the problem of a man not manning up? A man not manning up. It's not modernity? Uh, kinda, it is. Yeah. But I stick to here, please, yeah. It's a man not manning up. Uh, why do I say that? Yeah, because that is where I want you to take me because mm -hmm. I'm just thinking. <laughs> mm. You know how you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. And for example, let me say, I was just giving a, an example. Mm. Like... You want me to decide where to take you for a date? Yeah. I take you to Uhuru Park. That's not where you want. Those days, there was no Java or anything. My mom and dad just by the riverside, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Would you say then that the man was not a man then? No. So what's the difference between now? No. Okay. Uh, it's about you making the decision. I don't mind going to Uhuru Park. Oh, you don't? I don't mind going to ah, Uhuru Park. Okay. I don't mind going to Uhuru Park. <laughs> <laughs> it's about you manning up and making that decision. Yeah. Because, as I said, according to the Bible, he is the leader. He's supposed to be the leader. He is the head, mm. you know. Mm. I'm just there to support him, to walk by his side, you know. Uh, so he should make that decision. Personally, you making the decision makes you kind of a man. You know, yeah. like a man, like um, a man up now, mm. you're a man, and you're not a boy. Boys, I think boys and you are asking you, what do you think? What do you think, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dana, I, I would want to hear from you because I'm just thinking, yeah. you want a man to make decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yet when I don't consult you, mm. you're throwing tantrums and you're almost hitting the roof. Yeah. 
So, I mean, what is this? Is it the woman that has double standards or is it the man? No, there's not. Uh, we don't have double standards, first of all. At least most of us. Okay. Who, yes. Oh, thank you for the clarity. Yes. <laughs> most uh -huh. of us, as yes. who know ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would think it depends from where you're coming from. Yeah. Uh, because if, if, if I take your argument on where you want to take me for a date, convince me. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, convince me. I may, it may not be up to what I would want. But if you are at the same level, you may be, yes, uh, like Angie is saying, I may need you to man up at some point. But if, you're, if you're, we are at the, same, at the same place, convince me. Work with me, Diana. Yeah. Babe, I'm broke. We uh -huh. can only do Uhuru Park. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We do Uhuru Park. Yeah. You're fine with it? Yeah. But now, it, it goes back to the point that... Outaki pictures are kusle, like dates, manena. <laughs> no, it depends. That, that, that I think, is for, for girls. Ah, yeah. 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 Actually, um, if you check, most, most of us women now, ladies, because there's a difference between a girl and a, and a lady. Mm. For us who know what we actually want, that is not really a plus for us. Yeah, whether I'm on Facebook, whether I'm on Snapchat or not, it's really not such a big deal. Yeah. But of course, there is the bit of where when we go home, you know, we take it home. Yeah, after the whole hula baloo of outside of convincing people we're in love and all of that stuff, there is still the home part, which for me I think is critical because that is now what you have for, for the longest time. Probably. That's the real thing. That's the real thing. You're mm -hmm. married at 25. You have 50 years to go. I won't need you showing me off all the time. You know, there's the house bit of it. How do we act when we are home? How do you treat me as a woman? I have heard uh, of people who are actually married, but on the outside, we look fine. But when you go home, he's, he's beating me up. Yeah. Why? I can't convince someone that this guy is beating me up. Why? If you go back, you check the problem. The guy already had a problem way before. And, and I think I bring in that issue of, of, of boys raising boys. Mm. Because the problem is not really the boy child that we have now. Yeah. I go back to how he actually grew. We've had the past generation of, of men, boys, raising boys. Mm. So we can't really blame a 25-year-old right now acting like a 15-year-old. Yeah. yeah. I want to go back and find out how did your dad raise you up? How was he raised up? Because but then, my, my question would be, and now I'm putting myself in the shoes of a woman, mm -hmm. is it my business how you were brought up? I mean, <coughs> be an adult or ship up? No, it is. Yeah. It is. It, for, okay, for, for a guy, I don't know how you would view it. Maybe Pastor Rafian would answer that. Trust me, I wouldn't do the job of bringing you up. You're not a baby. Get Re out. No, not really. <laughs> You've, I have to find out. Yeah. Personally, okay, I speak for myself. You will go to the extent of... Yeah. I, I want to find out mm -hmm. how your background is, yeah. how you grew up, what are the faults, you know, what are the pros and the cons. I won't just go back and get married to a guy just because I love you. Yeah. Yeah, I love... Not, not only doesn't it just put food on the table, but there's a person who loves you and beats you up, and they generally love so you. So once you find their fault, yeah. and perhaps yeah. connected to the system or mm -hmm. how they grew up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would you be willing to grow with them or you know, no, we help work, them? No, we work on it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we work on it. Both of us, we work on it. Okay. Because I have my pros as well as a lady. But for the boy child, yes, we, we really have to... We, we, uh, you have to identify that actually this problem is there. Yeah. And then we can work on it. But until then, I won't get married to a man who's no, who has a background of families of beating up people with the assumption that uh, he won't beat me up. Yeah. No, we have to work on it step by step. Who? Quite interesting. The conversation is ongoing. Double two, one, six, two. From where you are, you can tell us what are these problems you've seen with a boy child? How can they be rectified? What are the solutions? On Twitter at KBC Channel 1 at Curia, the hashtag is Family Matters. Pastor Ruffin, a very valid point that Diana raises there about, yeah. you know, boys raising boys. And today you look, and I would admit it, um, the boy child today lacks wit. Mm. And it's very hollow, if, mm. if you were to say that. Lacks wit and very hollow. And perhaps blamed on, what would you say about parenting, particularly for a father? Because mm. um, you and I know our fathers were really busy, or even us are busy, in the yeah. sense that you're more obsessed with making money and ensuring there's food on the table rather than spending time with your child. Uh, the, the, the modern family yeah. uh, is uh, quite uh, carried away mm. by raising money, and uh, actually, the aspect of parenting has been reduced to providing. Yeah. Such that uh, everyone feels they are good parents because they are able to give their children what they never got. Mm -hmm. But uh, the truth of the matter is that you don't become an amazing father mm -hmm. because you are giving your children or you are giving your sons what you never had. Yeah. You become an amazing father if you're willing to teach them the things that have made you who you are. Mm. Yeah. 
And uh, that is where the disparity is coming in. The father is quite busy. I was, um, you know, I, I was, uh, I've been, uh, there's something I, I was reading in a book uh, by T.D. Jakes, and uh, I think Diana made reference yeah. to it. And uh, it talks about uh, a man or a father is a, is a guide to a boy, yeah. to who he's supposed to be. And uh, he gives a very profound example of how one day he went to shave his beards with his son. And uh, when he took the razor to shave his beard, the son wanted also a razor. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says that when I looked into the mirror, I saw who I used to be. And when the boy looked into the mirror, yeah. he saw who he was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But the challenge of, uh, of our day is that now when the boy looks into the mirror, he uh, does not see who he's supposed to be. Yeah. He's supposed to figure Figure, figure out who he is supposed to be. Mm. And Angie, when uh, you find uh, someone, a man, asking you what do you think, it's not because he's weak. It's because when he looks at his mirror, he doesn't know. He isn't sure. He isn't sure what yeah. he's supposed to become. Mm -hmm. So he's asking you just to find out whether maybe, could you be knowing? Mm -hmm. And so this person is not a display of weakness. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is, a, it is a, 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 just where we are. We have grown without an example of what we are supposed to become. Yeah. We, we, we look into the mirror, and in our mirror, it is blank. You, you grew up with your mom, and your mom taught you how to be a lady. Mm -hmm. I grew up without my dad. I don't know what that thing you're saying, man up. I don't know what is to man up. Yeah. I don't know what is that expectation that you're placing on me. Mm -hmm. You see, and that is the, the basic thing. It's not like the boy doesn't want to be the man, all right? Mm -hmm. He wants to be, but he doesn't know how. You understand? Yeah. We don't know how we are supposed to play a role we didn't rehearse. We don't know how to, 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 to go to a place we have no GPRS. Mm -hmm. And so our question is genuine. <laughs> our question... It's not a, a show of weakness. Yeah. It's, a, it's a genuine question. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I've not seen my dad take my mom out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, number one, I don't know where a, a man should take a girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, I think that is the basic denominator. That is where this conversation is at. What is it that an, uh, the modern young man has missed to get? to explain the many weaknesses, the many challenges that we are having, even when it comes to handling you. Because now, when I grow up without a, a proper example of what a man is supposed to be, then I've ended up uh, learning what a man should be from the movies or from social media, people who only post their strengths and they never post their weaknesses. Uh -huh. So, mm. you see, we, we, we have an intimidated man. Mm. Because now, like when I follow uh, uh, Jacob here, yeah, when yeah. I follow him, I mean, he's the perfect guy. He's a perfect man. Yeah. I, I see how he poses with a girl. I mean, he's a perfect guy. And so there's no one telling us that it's okay to fail, it's okay not to know, mm -hmm. you get it? So we are just stranded. And uh, we want to man up. The boy out there wants to man up. He wants to become uh, that which you expect of him. But he has no example. Mm. And so uh, maybe just going back to your question, mm. it, it goes back to, to, to parenting. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my background is in counseling psychology. Yeah. Mm. And the life of a human being is subdivided into three. And I think that is what a majority of the people don't know. Mm -hmm. That the, the complete life of a human being is subdivided into three. The first 33% is the physical aspect of it. How I dress, you know, what I drive, where I live, what I earn, what I have in the bank. I mean, that is the physical, you know, my, my biceps and yeah. triceps. That is the 33% of a man. And uh, to say the truth, we have enough example of that, all right? Because... We can see what our classmates are driving. We know where our buddies uh, are living. We have all that. And that is why all of us are fighting to earn mm. that. 
But now there is the second segment of our life, which is the emotional aspect. And that this emotional aspect is developed by example. And so we are developing the first 33%, but we lack an example to develop us on the second aspect mm -hmm. of it, which is emotionally. Yeah. So we don't know how to love. I think loving you is buying you gifts. It's taking you to Kempinski. And then I take you there, and then there's nothing more I know how to do. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you are like, you think you can buy me with things. You think bringing me here yeah. is everything that I want. But I'm telling you that other thing that you need. Yeah. We've not been taught. We've mm -hmm. done, not been mentored. Mm -hmm. And I think even as parents, they need to model now that second part of it. All right. Hold yeah. that thought. Angie, one of the complaints, particularly from a boy child, is that the modern day woman, of course, having gone through the emotions of empowerment and stuff like that, is not patient enough to grow with their man. In the sense that this man is down here. You don't want to work up with them. You would rather be where success is, and that is why they increase on sponsors and blah, blah, blah. And you know, it has been in the, in the papers now yeah. the last two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, the modern-day woman is not patient enough to grow up with their man. We are. Are you? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Uh -huh. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. Yeah. Maybe you don't show me that you're growing. Maybe you don't. Oh, you maybe you're too lazy. Yeah. Or maybe you're too comfortable where you are being a boy. Yeah. You know, show mm -hmm. me progress. Show me that you want to grow. Show me that you want to be a man, and I will gladly walk with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're in this show to help, mm -hmm. what are these signs that I need to show you, you know, mm. to prove that I'm growing, you know, that I'm making progress? Because sometimes you say, I'm lazy. And you know situations where people, people have been fired, they wake up every day to go look for work, they don't get, but when they come back, they found quite a nagging woman and a person who will beat them up and tell them you're a useless man, but yet they're showing the effort. Mm -hmm. So what is, this, what is this that I need to do as a man to show you the effort that I am growing, so you can be confident in my ambition. One, man up, show me that you're manning up, you know, <laughs> like you, you, you're calling the shots. What shot. is this manning up? Do I need to <laughs> well, I think, I think we need to, to, uh, to go back to and just basically define. What is manning up? We, we, you, you define for us. Yeah. Being, okay. being the head. Uh, tell me, uh, what is being the head? I would actually what is your expectation? You're leading me. Okay, lead you. Yeah. I Tell me it, I, I how, what is your expectation? <laughs> how do I lead you? Yeah. What is your, just explain to me like a, like a two year old, just like yeah. 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 What is it, what do you define as, as manning up? up. Mm -hmm. What do you define as leadership? Mm -hmm. what, what is in your, in your understanding? What is that leadership? Yeah. Because, I mean, this thing is thrown at us all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm told man up. Mm -hmm. Be the head, I mean, call the shots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me what but you call But when you call, call the them, shot. they are questioned. Yeah. No, not all the time. Yeah. Because I think to go mm. to the question that you had initially asked, yeah. uh, I, I would say maybe the things probably that I would need you to do for me to know that you're actually growing up. Yeah. If you're 35, living in your mother's house, first of all, move out. Mm -hmm. You know, take responsibility yeah, for I think your... I you need to send slaps to such people. 35 yeah. still living at We have 40-year-olds <laughs> living with their parents. With their mothers? Yes, yes, yeah. we do. I know one. So basically... <laughs> 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 So basically, they mm -hmm. have to first of all take that bit of the responsibility for themselves. Yeah. First, leave me out of it. If I come, if I come along, you are 30 years old, yeah, and you want us to be something, yeah. Mm -hmm. First of all, I, if I look at you, you don't even, you are not even responsible for your own life. Yeah. I can't even yeah. trust you with my own. Yeah. You know. So if first of all, you, ha you have to show me. If you're living in your mother's house, move out. If you really have nothing to do, show me. If it is leadership. I need to know, this is where we are going five years from now. If you, are, if, if you want us to date, for me uh, personally, I'm not that kind of a person to date you for two, three years. And I don't even know where we are headed. Mm -hmm. You know, it may not be even be that bit of you taking me out for a date. But this applies even to the 28-year-olds, the 25-year-olds, you know. You have to first show me where are we headed, where mm. are we going, what, what is your vision for us? You know, yeah. are we headed somewhere? Are we just dating for the sake of you telling your boys we are dating, I'm dating this hot chick? Mm -hmm. You know, I need to know. Okay, vision yeah. is Diana. Yeah. In five years, I want to build in Roy. <laughs> All right? Uh, yeah. But John <coughs> Jacob Curia, uh -huh. with a lot of respect, by uh -huh. the way, for Nico Juakali, uh -huh. 
But in five years, I want to build. And where I see us, uh -huh. I see us cruising in ships. It's quite flowery stuff. Uh -huh. Is it achievable? It is achievable. You see, that's the bit of if, if, if we are meant to be, if this is what... So you would God, buy my vision irrespective most of... Most definitely I would. Why not? Because that means you're headed, at least you're thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, at least you're thinking. <laughs> you know, I don't want to sit with someone and I ask them, by the way, uh, for the next three... You're working, you're employed, yeah. and I ask you, by the way, for the next three years, where do you see... Where, where, where do you think we would be? And I say we, yeah? Yeah. And you're there thinking... Uh, my goodness me, I will walk out on you. How have you not thought about it? You know, at least need to know your thinking. We are headed here. So even if five years down the line, Jacob, you don't have that house in Rye, I will be okay with it. Oh, yeah? I will be okay with it for the fact that you actually had a dream and I am sure we would be working towards it by that time. But if you're just sitting there and you don't even know where you're headed yourself, me and you are done. Hey, peeps, sell visions to these people. Just sell <laughs> the vision and that's just it, right? We need to know where you're headed. <laughs> yeah, we need to know where you're headed. Rafian, yeah. I want us to go back still to the same conversation that we yeah. were having. Yeah. Because again, it appears like there's a disconnection between what is the expectation of a woman vis-a-vis -vis the man. Because yeah. if you have not had a father figure, and I'm talking of, because there, there are others who are fair, you know them, but still they didn't play an active role yeah. in you growing up. So what you have known as manning up may not be the manning up that Angie wants. Yeah. <laughs> so the man finds himself in what he would call quite a tricky situation between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. At that point, should we demand that the female gender, first of all, defines for us what manning up is, then we can move forward? Uh, <laughs> and that is why I was asking those uh, hard questions, because yeah. uh, I think uh, there is just uh, a vague expectation on the on the man, mm. uh, where I'm expected to become this thing that is not clear, what I'm really supposed to become. Yeah. And uh, at the same time, my notebook is blank. So I have no point of reference. No, the only thing in that notebook is a man should not cry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that they say a lot. Which, yeah, yeah. which is not true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> but the people who think manning up is In, not yeah. having emotions. Don't cry. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't yeah. feel anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, so my notebook is blank. And there's a long list of vague expectations. Yeah. In other words, a vague expectation is expectations that are not clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to become something that I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> and uh, when I take my journal to check how one becomes that, it's blank. Mm -hmm. So it goes back to the aspect of parenting. It goes back uh, to, the, to, to the aspect of being a role model. Yeah. And, uh, of, uh, and uh, I think uh, I would just challenge uh, us as men. Yeah. Uh, we just need to, to go back and uh, reach out to the boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, those of us that have the understanding or the wisdom, we just need to, to go back and uh, reach out for the boy. Because the truth of the matter is that there's nothing as difficult, Diana, as someone telling you to, uh, you know, it's like someone sending you a message. Alafu akwambie, you know, nipate bungoma kwa shop flani. Mm -hmm. You've never been to Bungoma. You, you, I, you have no idea that there is a kind of Bungoma which you can wapi. Yeah. So at the end of the day, in a kuani pressure, and then now what has uh, happened? Because there is this pressure to become, yeah. and we don't have an example of what we are supposed to become. Mm -hmm. Now we have ganged up as uh, men, as boys, yeah. to make gang up. So that to na chochana, to na ambiana, una unaji. Unasikia jona naniambia hapa hai mm. mimi mama kuna kitu anasema <laughs> so alafu eh na akoaje eh ameti ameti so mimi najua being a man mm -hmm. ni kukuja kwangu nitoe yeah. kichwa mm -hmm. na ni make sure umeti but at the end of the day it is because i am doing all that because i am expected to become something that I have no idea what I'm supposed to become. Yeah. I agree with you, uh, Pastor Rafian. Mm. But for me, I, th I think I also have a problem with, uh, with a man-child yeah. in the fact that I, I would think, actually I think they're asking these questions too late. Mm. Because I would not expect you at 35, that's when you're looking for a wife here, yeah? 
you want to marry. Why is it that you want to find out how a husband should, should act as much as you didn't grow with a father? Yeah. You should have you, done that. You before. should have you were, you were preparing to get a wife, yeah? yeah. You should have done that a preparation, yeah. Find out how does a husband act. If you do not you didn't have a father growing up or you had one but absent. Mm. Find out how you're actually supposed to be a husband. If you if you if you are you you are to be a father, yeah? Fine you didn't grow up with one. And if you grew up well, he battered you. He was not a leader. Right? Yeah, find out exactly mm. what you want to become, what you're supposed to do about it, how to be a husband. Read books. So you were saying, you know, before we took that unprecedented break, that it's about the standards that you've, you have had when you're growing up. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. So very quickly, let's just look at some of the responses because I understand we need to wind up um, owing to time. But very quickly, people here have very different reactions and married for that matter. Mm. So let's just listen in and we'll take several in the interest of time. Um, a Lawrence Adongo from Kenyatta University, if women want men to man up, they should also up their game. It's a two-way traffic. I don't know what that means anyway, whether women should also woman up or what that ought to be. Um, wife material, no more. Wife material, no more. They're saying there's no wife material. Mm -hmm. Contract basis recommended. <laughs> men be prepared for troubled marriages, really. Uh, good show. Women have standards. Ask them where they got them from. On top of the Bible, every man has a boy in them. The man will protect and provide and sacrifice. The boy will do the fun things like death, mm -hmm. boat rides and safaris. Complaining never changes anything. Respect will bring out the man in every boy. Isn't that very solid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's um, from Nyaga. Somebody says, home unit should be rediscovered, men repositioned. Sad is too much single parenting is not helping, and especially those by choice. Fathers should take up mentoring the boys. Mm -hmm. The girls, mentors are very present. Looks like the, it's men who, who are completely absent. And very quickly on Twitter, I'm taking them randomly uh, because of time. Um, Where well, are these ones? Good. Um, Pastor Danson, a friend of mine, says, I love the panelists today. My thoughts, my thoughts are men just need mentors. Mm -hmm. Quite. Mm -hmm. And Silas and Usava saying, yeah, what a conversation. Family matters. I need to, to wind up. And I know we cannot wind up on this conversation. Yeah. Maybe I need you take a two weeks breather, then we can come back again <laughs> and continue with where we're stopping, right? We need to. You need to, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> just take about like 30 seconds, your last word for now, yeah. if, because we'll come back. Yeah. Uh, for me, I'll just reiterate what I just said. Yeah. Uh, men really need to, if you know what you want, you, of course there's a bit of going for it, but you need to be prepared, adequately prepared mm. for it. Yeah. If, if you need to be a husband to someone, find out how to actually act like one. It does, this, I think it's just an excuse of, I didn't have a father growing up. So what? You didn't have one. Mm -hmm. Most of us girls didn't have fathers too. We didn't have mothers too. But we are playing our roles. Yes, we agree the uh, empowerment bit of it has played a role. If it is working for us, then find out how, how it could actually work for yeah. you guys. Yeah. And maybe you could also exercise a little bit of patience with the boy. Mm. We are. We are. We are. Right. <laughs> Very quickly. Yeah, I think uh, it's been said and uh, I'll say it again. Uh, our fathers need to come back and uh, find out where they lost us. Mm. And uh, even those men that are, you know, in a better place, uh, we need to come up with greater programs yeah. for, to mentor the boys, what is expected of them, what they are meant to become. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we just do away with this idea, ile vijana wakonawe ya maboys, where we are taught exactly what being a real man is supposed to, you know, is supposed to be like. Mm. And uh, I believe that is going to help. Boys need mentorship. I've been to boys' school, like today we were in a boys' school, yeah. and I can tell you the difference between the boys' school and the girls' school. Yeah. There's a total difference. The yeah. boys... They are just there, you know, they are scared. And in Gumuata, my boy Wakuja Kukuangelesha Kukuliza Swali. Wait until they do KCP, you know, see how yeah. badly they are doing. Or all, all that. Yeah. So I think uh, there is a problem, we must agree. And uh, all of us need to play a role. Okay. All of us need to play a role in empowering them, affirming them, you know, pushing them forward, mm. urging them forward. I think that is the way it's going to, you know, that's going to be more helpful. Fantastic. Angie, mm. very quickly, your last word. Wow. Look at a man. Yeah. Let him mentor you. Mm. Let him walk with you. Yeah. Mm. Now you're talking to the boy child. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Locate a man, let him mentor you, let him walk with you. Yeah. If you really want to be a man, yeah. if you're tired of being a boy. Yeah. Yeah. What will you tell the girl child? The girl child. Mm. Keep up. Keep up. <laughs> keep up. 
Okay, I think next time we should discuss women because looking at it this way, because there's, there's this assumption that the only person failing is the man, yeah. but there's also the bigger chunk, a bigger chunk of women who really are letting, and I agree, thank you because all of you, you know, have standards and you're well aware of yourself. How about that person who is still, I know women who are even, you know, yeah, 37 and they're still running around, yeah? yeah? yeah. Well, well, well. This is just where we end the conversation. I know it was short. Obviously, conversations like this, you never know when you're using up time, but this is just it. But we'll be back after two weeks, I promise. So just keep, keep the date. On a Sunday after two weeks, we can come back here and continue with this conversation and maybe expound more. My name is John Jacob Curia. Have yourself a good night. God bless.